So Miles Hawkins actually got the 9-9 overall. Not really because I was just that good. It's because I'm good at everything. Well, he's not going to be upstaged by Rich Vaughn. Not the rookie of the year. Oh! 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 What a way to start it! Miles Hawkins won! Rich Vaughn zero! Really, anything that I touch, I do it well on the first try. And it wasn't because I thought I was that good. It's because people in the training center didn't like me because of it. They tossed me a Rubik's Cube, solved first try. Playing baseball, I would do things that they naturally just couldn't do. I made my own wrestling gear, I still do. Make my own jackets, still do. Because I know that I have a level of excellence that I need to hit. And I'm the only one who can hit that level of excellence. Oh my goodness though, ow! Oh! This is your third match. Look at how polished Miles Hawkins remains. I, I, what is this thing gonna look like in a year? Sometimes when you got it, you know, you just got it. So I was an NCAA All-American. I was a baseball player. And I played 11 months out of the year. We started in January, went through November, straight through training, games, on the road every weekend, hot 105 degree days, sweating the worst. My one month off, I didn't want to see a baseball, I didn't want to touch a baseball. My release, my escape was professional wrestling. I'd turn on WWE, I'd turn on whatever was on, I'd find as much wrestling as humanly possible. So, when I finished my career, when I'm trying to decide, do I want to get drafted, do I want to sign as a free agent? I said, I don't want any of this. I want to go be a superstar. I was watching one of the shows that night, I said, I'm going to do this. Not, I want to do this, not I want to try it, I'm going to do this. Because with my background, with my mind, I know that I can do anything in professional wrestling. And seeing that and giving it a shot, love at first sight. So I started my training in September of 2019. For everybody who knows, that's about six months before the world shut down. I went through the beginner's class. I went through the intermediate class. I was getting my first match and the world shuts down. Being in Maryland, we can't run another show for a year and a half. So I have nothing to do but sit at home with six months of doing something that has become a love and I can't touch it. I can't even look at it. That's eating me up inside. We're putting out graphics just to remind people that we have shows coming up and I see everybody on them. I see my friends on them. I see the people that I'm competing with on them and I'm not on them and I'm driven. I'm working out harder than I've ever worked out before. I can't look at a wrestling ring, but I'm in my basement on concrete floor working on drills just to get better because I love this. Only to find out July 2021, my first match in front of fans is against a MCW legend in a dog collar match. Trial by fire, but iron sharpens iron still standing strong today. <laughs> MCW's home. MCW's where I started. MCW's where I got my chance to break out as far as home in professional wrestling and family in an industry where not many people like you, a lot like baseball. <laughs> MCW's family. MCW's home. The MCW Rage Television Championship, to me, is the symbol of the workhorse in MCW. The MCW Rage Television Championship, he's the guy who's gonna go out there and give you the best match of the night every night. Every time he touches that ring, it's the best match. 
I think that's a standard that needs to be lived up to. Might be Mike, uh, yeah, I mean, two sides of the same coin, really. We're both athletes. We know competition, Mike. It's what we do. Players on a team compete for the same spot. I want your spot. <laughs> Why are we all here? Hellfire's over by us! Nate, why would you win? Oh, wow! What is the Brandon Scott? The referee didn't see him. What did Scott and Miles Hawks? That academic now, oh, I can't believe it. How do you not know what's going on? Miles, he's my friend. He was in the trade with us. And like everybody that I've seen start here, these young kids, they get these big egos. When all the MCW fans, they just, they butter them up. Management butters them up. It's like they don't even put the work in. I've been doing this 18 years. And Miles just goes out there and he's just handed everything. So Miles, tonight, you're gonna learn a lesson. Like I told you once before, you call yourself the 99 overall, but you'll never be 100% ready for me. So when I started off, I said I was a 99 overall because I am. But honestly, I, I don't think I believed it that much. Coming from a NCAA All-American background, playing sports all my life, athletics, I was just a natural athlete. I'm like, I'm gonna jump into this and excel. Did I rub people the wrong way? Yeah, that's what you do when you're good. But over those years, over those months of becoming a professional wrestler, I figured out that just having an athletic background wasn't enough. So growing and wrestling and going out there and performing and doing all these great things, I figured out that while I say I'm the 99 overall, I have to prove it to myself. I have to go out there and become the 99 overall. I have to learn this business. I have to learn this industry. I have to learn how to be a wrestler. And through that journey, people started to see that like, man, this guy has a passion. This guy loves what he does. When he goes out in that ring, he is thoroughly loving this. And I mean, you gotta get behind somebody loving the passion.